And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Hey, everyone. It's Bevy Smith on Radio Andy. Oh, that must just be what all of our monitors say. Oh, sad J up top. It's The Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM95. I'm Dan Soder. That little depressed guy over there. We're back to starting late. Yeah. It's, it. it's Big J. Okerson. So I special. Hate I hate it so hard. It's part of the degenerates. It's streaming on Netflix. Jay, I'm trying to turn this negative into a positive right now and tell people to go watch your special on Netflix, which is very good. Please, please enjoy it. Go enjoy it. It's streaming now on Netflix. Episode one of the degenerates. I did so much to not do any of my jokes this weekend in Minneapolis. Yeah, you did you, you uh, so much and so many people came up after the shows and were like, I didn't watch the special, you know when it ought to be new and fresh and I'm yeah, like, cool. Well that would have taken a lot of pressure off. Cool. Should, that's the stuff you should tweet. Like that's a no lot pressure. of pressure. Just do whatever you want. Um were you tempted at all to do stuff from your hour? That's what I did when the half hour came out. I think I did a couple of things yeah. from my hour here you reach, and there. You reach like, back to the yeah. hour. Yeah. I went as far as to reach Because you're back. like, they forgot that. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, I reached as far back to my Comedy Central half hour. Sure. And I did one of those jokes, and I was like, oh, look at this old, hello, old friend. We try to get a few new stories. Yeah. And do what we can. Yeah, man. We'll, we'll see. It's, it's, really a, it's a it's terrific, evolved. it's a terrific special, and it's, uh, streaming now on Netflix.com. So go fucking watch it. On the flicks. Yeah. You watched, uh, oh, by the way, I will say, pretty cool. Family Guy last night. Uh, shout out Tom Segura, man. That was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, and the uh, Netflix special joke. That fucking... I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a ball bust, obviously, but yeah. I mean, it's... Uh, that sh- I mean, I think that's the only one they really named. Yeah. He goes, who's Tom Segura? And I'm like, that's awesome. That's man. awesome. That's a pop culture thing. Oh, yeah, that's the... Uh, what is that the new... Put, be- put, putting somebody over. Yeah. Is it... Well, like, remember back in the 90s when someone went on The Simpsons, how fucking big that was? Yeah. You were like, if you did a voice on The Simpsons in the 90s, you were super famous. And I love what South Park did with that. They started going... Uh, yeah. Get Obscure. celebrities to do nothing. Well, Seinfeld was the turkey. He was a turkey guy. Yeah, George Clooney was a dog. Yeah, they just do... Not, not, not a talking dog. No. Just a dog. Yeah. <laughs> South Park is... Uh, and, and Seinfeld was one of, like... Uh, 700 turkeys. Yeah. There was no like a wild bunch of turkeys, yeah. and one of them was Seinfeld making the noise. Yeah, that's great. It's pretty hilarious. Dude, one of my favorite stories about those guys, I think Trey Parker and Matt Stone are the funniest people of all time. To me, they're like... They're dick, dude. We're on the network already. I can't. It's all the way impaled through me. Oh, uh, Denver's gods? God, yeah, my, a little respect in your voice would be nice. I'm playing Red Dead all weekend. You want to see if my red, if my dead eye ain't working? That'd be great to go. <laughs> you go, dude, you have nothing. I'm just doing it slow. You said it's awesome. It's awesome. I, I'm bringing it home today. Yeah, go home and play it, and then I won't it. play it tonight. Oh damn! I know. Way. And by the way, I'm very maybe proud play it tomorrow myself. afternoon. Very possible. I'm very proud of myself. I got to tell you, and maybe it's a small thing, but even when we got the games, and by the way, shout out to Coker. Yeah, who, Jason who Coker sent him. Who uh, now? Copies. Who worked? Who now works at Rockstar? Yeah, I've read Dead Redemption too. And I've heard about how great it's going to be. Mike Finoy's had it for a week. Said he's loved it. It's so fantastic. Yeah. And when we were here, I was leaving somewhere. I couldn't bring the game with me. And I was like, I'm going to leave it here at work till Monday. And I did with no problems. Took my PlayStation on the road with me, too. And still, and really? was like, I was like, yeah, it was fine. I wasn't like, man, I really wish I oh, was. Like, I'm opposite, fine. man. I would have been from my And by the way, I'm I'm like, I played a night. I have like a pretty busy week, so I might not get to throw it on much. If at all this week, just throw and, it on, I'm, and I'm fine. Just throw it on if you can tomorrow before you come in, because I think Shane's going to come on, and uh, and Black Lou played a lot of it, and so there's, you know, we want to have. I want you to. We're we going to do a Twitch TV show. Hell yeah! <laughs> you know which one we make? Turn the cameras off. <laughs> Jay just had a great idea. I went play video games with the bonfire. Can you please put a? You have the equipment, I believe, to some degree. Will you please do a Twitch TV channel of you just playing video games in your house and just get a weird amount of followers? Where you go, <laughs> yeah. Mike. Yeah, I go. Are you Mike? Look, I just beat the level. I go, Mike. Come in here. Watch what I do with Mister Perfect. <laughs> right there, and then yeah, right there. <laughs> Crazy. It's pretty nuts, right? Pretty nuts. And they go, dude, he's taking a nap again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get another. I'm going to play another mission. You see where that, that Twitch TV problem is like webcam girls go on and do it like advertisements. <laughs> so they just think you're watching a person play video games and right. it's a girl just with her tits out playing video games. You should do that. You should do salacious oh, s- webcam slash Twitch should TV. Where, should I wear a just video gaming just, no, just like in Just like in tidy whities Yeah. Or just get up in, in Euro cut underwear. Hell yeah. Oh, that was a good mission. I just played in Red Dead Redemption. Bling, bling. 
<laughs> the box, <laughs> box of Frosted Flakes in front of you with a bowl. Uh, oh, look, my friend Mike's here. We're going to put lotion on each other. <laughs> <laughs> Just oiling his big back. Man, me and Mike sure are sticky over here. Oh, and man. you guys out there want to throw, hit that tip button. That'd be pretty cool. Bling, 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 bling. Thanks. I think you're going to buy me a new controller. (laughs) Oh, this is going to get me to Nationals of Madden. Oh, hell yeah. I don't even play Madden anymore. I'm with Cap. (laughs) Twitch TV. Yeah, Twitch TV was a thing where... um, Still does. Still happens. Yeah, when I heard about it, I was like... That's ridiculous. As a video game can't player, be a thing. it can't be a thing. And then it is. It's a very successful multi-millionaire. Thing. A lot of multi-millionaire. A lot of people made a lot of money just playing video games. Yeah. Are we just giving up on the other monitor? No. It's a wash. What happened? I don't like to talk. I I don't where like did talk. Jacob go? I don't like to talk tech biz like this on a live show, but... Uh, Guys, we don't do this. We don't ever do this. We don't ever get technical. What's happening is a lot of finger pointing... And then, of course, they make Black Lou do the work. Oh, God of damn it. Christine, it's 2018. Real it is the eve of the midterm elections, and you are bullying Real the nice. one minority in the room. I am so sorry, sorry Black Lou. Lou. The bonfire is way more woke than this. And Christine, Christine I'm gonna- stop making whip crap. Whip, whip, crack, hand motions, please. Stop. Please, please. Christine, you are a person. He is a person. You need to have feelings. I know you're Armenian, but that is not ethnic enough to ju- to go there. You're going there. <laughs> you're going there. If you're gonna go there, you have to do it a different oh, way. I'm going next album now. I'm uh, going there. Oh, Big J Okerson, I'm going there. <laughs> Big J Okerson's, I'm going there. Good luck, dude, because I just had a meeting with a team of geologists today to get me to the center of the earth <laughs> for Dan Soder's new Netflix special, From the Core. <laughs> from the Core. <laughs> Dan Soder, From the Core. Jokes from the Core. He goes, man, it's hot in the core, huh? What have they got the core of this earth on? Uh, rotisserie chicken? Oh! Ah! Oh, there's a couple here tonight. You guys get into the core. Core your problems. Ah, it's just core puns. Devil can't even get pussy in this weather. Oh, oh. oh this is hot. This is hot. Oh, thanks, dog. Jacob, why do you have Lysol yeah, my wipes? Peas ain't popping. Peas ain't popping no more. Why do you have Lysol wipes? Come on, weirdo. Drop it. Afterward. Did, you, did you just make a new trophy out of one of the ladies that works on 36? <laughs> <laughs> why, why do you have... I Whoa. have her. I have her in my grass. Afterward. Here? Yeah. Do you wipe out your They make you clean it up? Yeah, one of the producers asked me to. They're a nice producer. Get the fuck We're out friends. of here. We're friends. It's not a problem. That's not friends. It's a guy who bullied you and well, he told you he's a, your friend. It's not a guy. He goes, he goes, it's a girl. Oh, is she hot? We're just, we're just friends of right uh, Yeah, I didn't ask you if you were going to fist fuck her later, Jacob. <laughs> I said, are you friends? Yes. <laughs> You're friends with her. And she asked you if you could politely clean the studio. What are we leaving? Oh, uh, look how the, look how the fucking uh, the world has turned. Uh, what, I mean, we what had a we cheese do? party, so there were crumbs oh, and all that. There so. was a lot of cheese parties, and let me say, okay, I was look. eating cheese aggressively. Yeah, we Lysol wiped after the cheese day. Yeah, but it wasn't yeah, that's good. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, no, I know, but why? What's the problem today? Do you have there's more no cheese you're not telling us about? You hold? Is there surprise? Like a, <laughs> Yo, bro, you hold? It's just like a surprise cheese. I'm a shit. Do they Lysol wipe for us before we come in? Not a fucking chance. Just Bev? No, probably not. But they don't have, not they don't have, they don't have wild extravagant cheese parties. Mm-hmm. Sure, come on, there's something. But, don't make me say it, Dan. Where the last show, where the last show Barbecue until- sauce and the keyboards. Alright, everybody happy? <laughs> Are you happy? There. You made me go there. I mean, you're just wiping Guys, you can down. catch jokes, I guess, and more on Big J's new yeah. tour. I'm going, oh, that should be the name of my tour. I'm going, I'm going, there, going there. And then That's it's the city. Tour name. And I'm then you can there. sell shirts. Every city could have a different shirt with, I'm going there. Omaha. I'm going there. <laughs> Providence. No, it says the place first. Providence. I'm, I'm going, going there. there. Yeah, dude. Oh, man. It's you're, a marketing genius. You're such a bad boy. Jacob, now that you're Jacob, in your trash big tour, I'll hire you as the Lysol wiper for everything. Hell yeah. I'm in. Don't worry, I'll ask a pretty girl to ask you. He's the Winston Wolf, Winston the Wolf of your tour. He's the cleaner. Dude. Well, we're the last show until Dan Rather comes in, so. <laughs> Are we really? He goes, I want it wiped down. All of it. My, yeah. <laughs> my immune system is very low. I shook hands with Kennedy. I shouldn't be around here. You. Jay, uh, I think you're going above and beyond for this friend of yours. I just want it warmer in the fucking studio. Well, that doesn't happen anymore because we're out of that. How old is she? This is an appropriate friendship? Huh? This is an appropriate friendship? Is this a mentor role? It wasn't a big deal. Do you guys are you her? mentoring her? No. Oh, we know how that goes. Do you guys You're play, play mentor, no, no. Do you play professor and student? How old is she? 20-something? No. 30-something? Yeah. Ooh. It's okay. in the wheelhouse for you, buddy. Hey. 
getting right. Hang on, Dan. Talk him through it. All right. Now, here's what you want to do, Jacob. Just walk up to him one day and say, hey, sorry I'm leaving that studio all messy, girl. Bring me up, Lou. And you know say, you're right. Set the ball inside. Maybe next time, instead of me cleaning it up, me and you can the go get I'm a glass of wine. There's a little bit about for me. What? What's that? Hmm? Sometimes there's like product. <laughs> you <have> product? <laughs> Yeah, Jacob. You're gonna be in love. Fuck, you're gonna be in love. Jay, why is that? Is it deep enough to freeze a studio you don't have to clean? Yeah, I like it, dude. She well, now you're saying it's more for you, but you said she asked you politely yeah, as dude, your friend if you could light fall down smoking. the room. Don't get caught smoking and saying you're holding a lighter for a friend. You're in love with her. No. God damn it. Can we Jacob, move the fuck out? Jacob, go to her. <laughs> right now. Oh. What's up? Oh, really? Well, let's have him come in early then. Oh, yeah. Say? Have him come on in early. We have a guest. We have two guests. It's guest friendly. You're going scum core. I'd like to talk to Bill about this. Hell yeah. Jay's gone full scum core. You're just going to wear sweatpants Sleaze everywhere. Sleaze core. Sleaze don't call core. me scum. Damn. All right, dude. I don't know. Sleaze yeah. core? Scum core? What do you dress as? Then weekend face dad? Yes. That's exactly my style. It's also known as garage cleaning dad. Yeah. Is it? Uh, yeah. It was, oh, is it alcoholic piece of shit dad? This is called I have to pick up my wow, kid. these are hurtful. This is picking up a uh, kid at his friend's house. This is finding out last minute you have to get out of bed with your yeah. girlfriend and pick up your kid. I go, all right, I, I go, all right, buddy, I'm gonna come get you. All right, yeah, no, all right, right, champ, I'm just going through you while you're doing your smelling shirts. Uh, Whoa. I go, Whoa, I go, damn, I, must, I got hammered in this one. Yeah, yeah. I love uh, radio producers. Black Lou's out there looking in. Like, is this a weird time to send him in? Like, at any time. Yeah, just launch. This show doesn't work oh. like that. Yeah, interrupt. This isn't. I don't even know what we were talking about two seconds ago. Anyway, I don't know. You, I don't know. You're I sang about, how deep is your love. You nailed it. What was it after that? <laughs> I can't even remember. Something about sweatpants. Sweatpants. Yeah, Sleaze I mean, core. You called scum me scum, you piece of shit. Dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Wait, and then, and then you called me scum. Yeah. Well, I was yelling at you. <laughs> Bill walks in on a full fist fight. Um, dude, well, well, shit. Fucking spoiler alert. What? Did we say he was coming already? No. I just said Bill. I know, but they know what you mean. Cosby. Bill Wennington. Oh, dude, that'd be nuts. Oh, it was Bill Wennington, center for the <laughs> championship 1987. Yeah, bring him on in. The guy tears down boards like a motherfucker. <laughs> Bill Cartwright. Bill Bradley. <laughs> From the New York Knicks. He's coming, everyone. Relax. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Hey. hey. Bill? hey. Of course, of course, everyone. Hey. You know him because he's playing Madison Square Garden this Wednesday. And you know him from his show, F is for Family, on Netflix. Bill Burr joins the show, everybody. Dude, I looked real quick. I thought that was Jim Norton. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow, We're doing man. Undercover Boss. Yeah. We want to see if you noticed Wait, it. Wait, over here? Okay. It's what Jim Norton will be. Okay. All right. How What's up, you? Bill? How are you, brother? I'm doing all right. Good to Good see, see you. Mike, nice to meet you. Nice Don't worry about the germs in here. Jacob Lysol wiped everyone for a girl he does like. Uh, Jacob, looking now, he's in the corner, uncomfortable as shit. I want to know who it is. So bad. The office crush? Yeah. yeah. So, so bad. Bill, I feel like I walked into us. like on the ninth episode. Yeah. I, I got to get caught up. This oh, with the like, whole is thing? This radio lost? Well, yeah. <laughs> Negan <laughs> killed Glenn. Here's how it started. Negan and Sanctuary took over the whole. <laughs> yeah, and we're deep in our series. We're in our fifth season. Oh, so okay. jumping in now. No, thanks for coming in. And Mike, um, producer. Of yes. F is for family. Yes. Showrunner. Captain, Captain, Captain of the ship. Captain of the ship. I didn't mean, of the ship. Didn't mean to call him a coordinator when he's a head no, coach. The That's admiral? right. Yeah. I'm the captain. Yeah. Um, <laughs> season three of F is for family coming out November 30th on Netflix. That's streaming right. the whole season. You can binge it. We got Hal and Hank coming in in the next hour. Do you oh, know you that? Oh, Josh? Really? Yeah. We're bringing, Josh? In, we're bringing in random characters from your show. That's what we do. <laughs> yeah. We front end load the first show and then we bring in just fun characters. He does that, uh, Mike, he does that comedy jam thing where he oh, sings right. with the band and also for New York Comedy. Festival. He's in town. He's out yeah. in Brooklyn, right? Yeah, they're doing it. Jay's on it tomorrow night. Uh, oh, Jay, you you kill on that show. What's that song you sang the last time? Uh, that say it ain't so. Yeah. I bring the heat that on that. Day, you two day, have day. done it 
like I think the most out of everybody, right? I just play drums. I can't sing, as you can tell. So I just, <laughs> I just play drums. Put on a wig. You know, I do. I you can do it. It's all attitude. It's an attitude. So I on came, the front man. It's the only time I get to live it. And then just in between verses, I do a lot of like, is this just silly that I'm doing this? <laughs> and then, and then I go back right into like wanting to live I'm it again. Totally enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I've done it twice, and I can't do it. I just feel weird. You and so great though. I just I can't. I feel like the little nervous kid at the oh, family. Oh come on! Reunion. Don't kill yourself. Everybody here loves you. I can't, Bill. I can't go on. I did Crash Test Dummies once, and that's it. Yeah, Crash Test Dummies. You killed it. Yeah, it's a fun show. Goddamn Comedy Jam going on at the New York Comedy Festival tomorrow night in Brooklyn. Big J is going to be on it. What song are you doing? And that'll come out 24 days before season three. (laughs) That's the family. I'm here to do Goddamn Comedy Jam. Right. Kiss did this to us uh, last week. They, we were like, so what's backstage like at a Kiss show now? And they go, uh, the Kiss show now is crazy. That We're going on the end of the road tour, uh, <laughs> starting in this date and this day. We're like, yeah, but and, can you not answer any questions? Or can you only keep telling us about the tour? Um, <laughs> yeah, you're like, it's like the Big Ten of promoting. Big Ten yeah. football. You just run the ball and play defense. That's right. You just keep going. That's forward. it. Yard yep. by yard. Took us a little over a year to do the season. You guys can all watch it in about two and a half hours. <laughs> and then hit us with the, when's the next one come up? Is, right. is that usually the first thing that comes out after like the big yeah. thing happens? Like, I'm, oh, loved it when season four. I'm getting, for... I'm getting that stuff now on yeah. the internet. Where's season four? Season three hasn't come out yet. Yeah. We're yeah. going to try to work on a little quicker schedule. But, uh, hope, hopefully if we get like the season four and yeah. all that shit. Yeah, but you guys are doing animation, which I think a lot of people think it's just an overnight process when it's a fucking long... That's what I thought. I was yeah. thinking, I, I was going, this is going to be great. Yeah. I can wear what I want. The baseball hat, no wardrobe, obviously no hair have to worry with me, but uh, just to not have to do the makeup and have yeah. a mustache glued on you, none of that crap. Just show up and then uh, it was really, I would say, Mike, the the, fir- the first season when that's the hardest one because you you literally don't even know what they look like. Yeah, and it's yeah. kind of funny with each cartoon, you kind of have to come up with your own sort of race of animated people. Yeah, like, like what all right, kind of, what the Simpsons yellow? are yellow with yeah. the big eyes. Yeah. Can't do that. So you kind of had to have like, are we gonna are we gonna try to be the ones that actually has you know five fingers on the hands? Yeah. So, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. So you yeah. Guys went, yeah, you guys went five fingers? We, we went, went five, five fingers. That was the first thing I said. Five fingers or I quit. What yeah. If, yeah, That would have been funny if you lost writers. <laughs> That's go, right. Mike is such a monster. He That's demanded right. five fingers. <laughs> I wanted a four But it was fun. Yeah, we, had, we had like a ton of different versions of Frank. We had some that looked like you. Yeah, it was <laughs> weird. Was did you have to shoot that down? Were you like, I'm not, I'm not having a cartoon that looks exactly well, like me? The thing was, was at first, you know, we don't, there was so much yelling in the beginning that they just had Frank looking like a lunatic and a Sorry, man. We got to soften this guy up a little bit, yeah. or just like me and three of my friends might find this is fu- this is funny. So there was, I mean, we spent like a week on noses and yeah. jaws, and like it was a like I was sitting there, and I, I don't know if I ever communicate. You probably saw my body language. I was literally sitting there going, "What the fuck did I get myself into?" <laughs> yeah. This is like did you get to approval is, on all the different like uh, ideas of the. The yeah, style, I, I know, but, but when you get approval on everything, that means you also have to look at everything. So then it's just like, so it's just one of those things where it just became, well, thank God. When we first saw the animatics, the first time, the animatics, they just vaguely sketch it. He yeah. told us, he goes, don't worry, because he's done like 9,000 episodes of The Simpsons. He goes, oh, he goes, it's supposed to look, you know, it's going to look terrible. Yeah. Uh, Simpsons look terrible, you know, and then eventually we get it up and running. And I saw it, and, and like, and especially because we're doing comedy, it was like the time timing everything was just like just pushed out a good half second second which just makes it all look yeah, yeah fall clumsy. down the stairs and i was just like oh my god I'm a voice over actor over. this what what happened this is not what i pictured it to be and then you just you just start grinding it down over the yeah, yeah. that's got to be so are they showing you like swatches of ears like coming in and being like this could be the ear this could there be the ear there were like yeah for like the main characters yeah. there were like 15 different versions of everybody with a different ear, a different nose, different hair, a different yeah. shirt. And we just had to pick what we liked and get like, a little bit of this Actually, ear, the ear from this guy, the shirt from yeah. that one. It's like those police things where they try. He's got eyes like yeah. this. Yeah. Eyes like, <laughs> what did he look like? Do you have yeah. a planned evolution for the artwork? And like, in that I mean, you know how like Family Guy, if you watch season one or two, mm-hmm. how much sharper it got. And even those later cartoons like American Dad, you could tell when it's later seasons because they add in like shadows, like things like that kind of simple. Just like, oh, yeah, it just kind of like, budget. it just kind of evolves like uh, more. Do you have like plans for or like, did you? No. It's it's like hard, you know what I'm saying? I, th- like, I think I think with our thing it was more just getting the look of the '70s that we remembered. Yeah, because yeah. like so much, like one of our our little things on the show was no lava lamps, 
none of that sort of like, uh, hey, groovy or whatever the hell you, yeah. whatever. Just like the, the seven, I remember the early 70s, it was really like uh, this whole time where, you know, a lot of that Rust Belt stuff, the factories are going yeah. away, the gas crisis, and it was really sort of, and there was all of these once great buildings in the 20s and 30s that were now 40 and 50 years old. Every sports complex was falling apart. Yeah. You guys know that being. You could rattle the steel, though. You could fucking get a good chant going oh, in yeah, those yeah. old stadiums. Oh, yeah, yeah. going the upper deck of the I remember the old, the old Mile High Stadium was just like metal, and you could just clam your fucking snow boots on that, and you're like, this thing got loud. Yeah. And now it's that new, like, glass fiber shit. I went to a yeah, Patriots game. That. Uh, yesterday had great seats. It was like a box. I checked my coat at the gate. I went to a football game <laughs> and checked my Parker. Oh, how was it? I was just uh, like, what is this world? This is awesome. Yeah. Me well, and you went to the Eagles old stadium, veteran stadium together. Yeah. And that was a stadium they had to knock down eventually because it was taking like three careers a year. <laughs> just a term. Oh, shit. He was like a hunk just of shit. ripping ACLs. Uh, yeah. Nonstop. Yeah. They, they had to build, so, that's the reason. So that was kind of the world. And then another big thing was the cars where it was just like whenever they'll do like a movie of 1974, everybody's driving a brand new 1974, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, and it's just like, no, there's a lot of people that drive cars five, six years older. So we have a lot of mid sixties, late sixties, and they look more rusty it out and also i remember when the pacer first came out me and my mother laughed at it thought that was the ugliest car we'd ever seen but yeah. now when they do shit on the 70s everybody's like oh this is the car of the future it's like no that thing was considered weird and and, and <laughs> ugly looking so it's funny to it's think fu that there's people who like have vested interest in the pacer that they're, when they're making movies they go no we're gonna rewrite history it was a cool car <laughs> yeah. you remember it like, i think it's, it's funny that you have it's, it's, it's just the plight of giving a shit about stuff like that is your attention to detail to make sure those things are in the show and then when people love the show even they don't mention those like your attention to detail and like you still get a little no, angry they do, about though, it but they, they do. do yeah they the people who are into our show mike what are you on, on reddit you, i'm you on was, reddit or twitter like on reddit especially they're like so deep into the show they're like are they, stuff out are they coming up with conspiracy theories oh yeah storylines sure and really the one thing is they're really worried about the dog i want to say this to all everyone listening on <laughs> the dog is fine because yeah. there was an episode last year where the dog <laughs> ate chocolate ice cream and he was shown sort of lying on his side like not looking so good and they're all worried that he's dead even though he shows up in three other episodes later yeah, that's yeah. really they, you can fucking kill there's we, a, we had a guy get decapitated you know they don't care about him they care that a dog ate ice cream i think i think because a lot of people have died on our series oh really yeah, so they, they're yeah. expecting the dog to yeah, go but he's so, fine yeah. the dog is totally fine major is fine there's a guy with a white erase board with like an alternate <laughs> timeline he goes that's why there's three episodes because you go back these episodes happen before the show started if you ever gave yeah. chocolate to a dog you realize yeah. it takes weeks God you bless, and God it's bless a very you. slow <laughs> painful death <laughs> they go through it hard yeah, God, God like, bless you for being so present on reddit it's yeah yeah terrifying. no way no yeah. thank you that's a bad neighborhood for i'm not going near that <laughs> no, no. if you're on tv you should not be on reddit <laughs> if you do comedy stay away if you do anything public <laughs> you have any sort of a positive outlook on yourself <laughs> it's it's hey, right where they go pretty good today i think oh. i'll go to reddit dude i'll tell I you i used to fall for it man people used to like tweet at me and say oh, things hilarious. like they'd go, oh, no. dude, check out all the cool things yeah. they're saying about you on this uh, on Reddit and with a link and you'd link it and there's like the headline would be like, why no one understands why Jay Ogerson even does comedy. <laughs> yeah, oh, <laughs> this stuff. I can remember like 115,000 posts. I can remember like hotel rooms <laughs> on the road, like ass beatings of where I read Reddit threads. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, when I was at Buffalo Helium in the corner room of that Marriott, I read a Reddit thread and my whole day was a spiral where I was like. <laughs> I'm just gonna quit. I'm just gonna fucking go. No, I don't. I don't. I don't look at it. Yeah. Away. Yeah. No, no, but you, I, but you can get up, in I there. put a thing up just like a little, could leave a little thing, a little picture of like a Frankfurt Halloween saying, Happy Halloween, right? That's all it was. Yeah. From the Murphys, whatever. And the, today a guy wrote, he goes, he goes, why is shit posts like this getting so many upvotes? Yeah. <laughs> just a little thing. It was a little happy yeah. Halloween. Yeah. yeah you know, why, why, is, why do nice things <laughs> have this? Yeah. yeah. That's really, I kind of feel like sometimes with the internet, you're like, I'm not going near that place because I don't want to watch it burn. I have a nice <laughs> yeah, yeah. thing I don't want soiled. You don't want to. Uh, yeah. yeah, we stay away from that. We, just, we yeah. live in our own little world. When you uh, when you are on the road, you know you're doing the garden tomorrow mm -hmm. night. A return to the garden. Wednesday. 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 You return to the garden. Is it weird yeah. that you're I'm playing? I'm the other Billy that plays it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about nine thousand show behind. We gotta, yeah, we'll get your flag up there though. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> He's gonna do it. They're gonna retire it. Also, this was the picture that everyone. Yeah.
the one I was worried about. Yeah, that's the boy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's all right. He's even breathing in the show. You see him breathing. He's fine. To some guys at but work. He did eat a lot of chocolate ice cream. This guy goes, uh, is he eating Netflix ice cream? I don't know what the fuck's <laughs> happening. Look yeah. at the logo. Look what everything means. Chocolate. Dogs don't like chocolate. And I'm surprised they didn't give us a rough time in that red end. Just saying that looks too similar. Oh, I think that somebody made that into a meme, right? It says, yeah, like, me so. and oh. Netflix and then finding out that something, whatever. Oh, so, oh, oh, oh. Right. I'm cool cool enough to make that into an end. Oh, Did okay. you bring your uh, family in for the garden show? Uh, not this time. They came last time, and they, I just was up in Boston. I did a show up there, and they all came out to that one. Nice. So, uh, it's yeah, it's going to be fun. You're going to come down for the uh, the jam, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. That's that sounds moved like the up coolest thing. Two to five. Yeah, we... Uh, Dude, I saw that just, video from when you were at the forum. It was fucking... Oh, yeah, we have a great time. Well, it's, it's a way to kind of get over the fact that you're there. You yeah. just go in, and you make a bunch of noise, and... Uh, you know, Dean and Josh are going to be down there. They're sort of the uh, the David Lee and Sammy. <laughs> yeah, so they'll absolutely. have a nice, they'll have a little vocal battle. Now we got uh, Gary Sharon here. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Sharon, what take a perfect it. voice! Take take guy it. was harmony on more than words. Fuck it, take it. Dude, <laughs> I think I think killed, killed it, uh, dude. That's fun though. What a good way to like kind of get the nerves out. Is just go fuck around on the yeah, stage. Yeah, because and you know what's cool too is then the kind of the people who work there they get like this vibe that that you. It means something that you're there, and you're kind of geeking out about yeah. it, rather than coming there like a douche and just being like, oh, this could be a little more reverb. But yeah. <laughs> just being that guy. So um, Ham's not thick. Yeah, I exactly. asked for thin cut ham. I need the light yeah. to accentuate, not blare. Are we running up uh, the trailer or anything before the show for season three oh, that premieres on November 30th on Netflix? I don't know. Yeah, don't way know to bring it are. back, Big Ten. Bring it back. Fucking I'm run. Not sure Stop it. or not. I don't think okay. so. Um, is I it mean it's one dump November thirtieth. All the episodes are out. That's yeah, it. that's the way to do it. Is that that's a big day? Is that like a yeah, day where you're fun. like like a launch day? You're like here we go. Well, it comes out at midnight on like L A time, like midnight of the twenty ninth to thirtieth. That's when it comes out. So. Yeah. So All when you wake up, when you wake All up on the thirtieth, you're like here Fuck it is. Fuck, wake up, I'm a. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> there <laughs> at midnight. I'm gonna watch this goddamn thing. Well, well, coming from something like The Simpsons, where you do yep. an episode every week, yep. and you kind of have the week to have the feedback, it's like playing a season in a day. It is. It is. It's that's crazy. Like, that's got to be a lot. It's fun. It's fun to go on, uh, you know, Twitter or whatever and see people like in real time. Watching, oh, God, that's yeah. great. That's really exciting. You, you just know? watch people waste their lives because of your show. Right. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, know Lori Taylor, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to, this is actually work, my, my favorite part. Is, sick that day. My favorite part's right now. Right. Because yeah, we yeah, have right. all this work done. Yeah. 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 But like, and then after everybody watches it a week later, it's like, oh, God, now we got to do it again. But yeah. the, the process is, uh, I probably like I, I uh, my favorite thing is actually when we get together and we we start breaking stories for like the next season yeah and just having like how like all of these people interact uh, psychologically you know and after all those years at the table back when the table was still the table sure. before people yeah. started caring in comedy oh, whatever, yeah. that, whatever that is it's a merch table now <laughs> uh, yeah it's like now uh, it's just gays and ethnics <laughs> and god knows what yeah the sea, middle baby east seals, baby, baby seals <laughs> yeah, yeah they're flying in a lot of exotic animals <laughs> to the table these days um no it's just you know but who's kidding who? You know, once, yeah. once Patrice died, like that whole vibe, it just, he was the king. So, um, but yeah. all of those beatings that I took got me so in my head. And I also look at other people to see what their cycle was. Yeah. Or I actually think like all of those, uh, that crap that I took back then actually kind of helps with, uh, you know, trying to pitch, you know, basically conflict between different types of people. You well, know? Yeah, you've seen it all. You've watched it. It's like that kind of fucking lifestyle of just having your neck attacked all the time is when you go in to write a show you're like oh this guy would probably go after this guy yeah. for this reason you know that guy is it similar to like releasing an, a special like putting out a season in one day like a comedy special no it's, it's so much it's so much more it's work there's more, so many yeah. so many more people like involved it's like you made a giant ship yeah and you just <laughs> Hit it with the. Do you put a captain's hat on? And it just goes on? right. Oh, yes, definitely. It goes oh, yeah, right down yeah. into the drink. Yeah, <laughs> it's right. like, there all right, goes. we need another boat. Let's yeah. go. I'll tell you what's fantastic about the a whole season coming out in one shot too. Anytime, myself included in this, but anytime someone I think watches thing, where you can always, if you want to, go on to the next episode and get through the whole thing. People always seem to love that. Yeah. Versus when like, I've caught up with shows where I've mm -hmm. watched four or five seasons on like Netflix and tour through it, and then when you get 
And it's like, this is great. Let me check that out a while back. I used to watch it every week. Mm-hmm. Like a weekly. It's like, like they got sober. On and, that show. Thing, <laughs> and when I catch up to a show is when I have certain weeks where I'm like, this is the worst season ever because you got to wait. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if, if you don't like uh, one particular episode, like there's no choice to move on and see where the story is going. I think that's what's cool about dropping it all at once. Yeah. 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 Uh, and there, there's people we're finding who are just finding it for the first time now. I saw somebody on Twitter saying, ah, did you know Bill? I love Bill Burr, but he has this he has this cartoon show. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, like you're keeping you, it a secret. Not have heard of it I, can, I could do but, like, better promoting it. it for the first time. No, it's not you. But like people are just finding it for the first time. And I'm like, uh-huh. well, you're in luck because you only have to wait like three weeks for the new season. Yeah. Everybody else had to wait a year and a half. There's a, it's funny, a guy on Twitter is just like, do you know that Bill Burr doesn't even tell anybody? He's got this whole show that he's hiding from everyone. And you're like, I've been pretty public about it's the also, But there's also like nine million shows. So like yeah. there is, I mean, my parents have still yet to see a second of it because they can't figure out Netflix. So all of a sudden, oh, like, dude. their TV was you turned it on and you yeah. turned it off. Now you, they got yeah. a two remotes, three remotes. You got to put in a password. So, you know. I keep wanting them to see it because so they can just know, I, I, you know, because people are like, is that how it was? It's like, look, there's aspects of it, but it's it's combined with... I mean, Bill, you're going back to the garden. Why don't you just buy them a smart TV? I mean, jeez. <laughs> they, they, Do they, something they, for them. They have one. They can't be all helicopter and, hey, rides and shit. Not to mention, it's a very expensive venue to rent out. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of money goes into... Uh, we got a big guarantee we got to yeah. make. We got a big nut. We got, we got, I got a big nut in that joint. Yeah. Yeah. I think if I did 40 shows at the Stress Factory, I think I would, my voice would be gone, but I'd probably come out a little better. Do you think... Is there stuff in the in the show that if your dad saw he'd be like I remember that like you, like specific things from your childhood that you got in there that it, like that your mom or your dad would immediately pick I up think, on I think when you're you're the father and mother of such a huge family you yeah. you, you can't I mean you're you're dealing with your job you're dealing with all the stresses like you don't remember like my mother always said she goes I don't even remember my 30s <laughs> <laughs> she had like six kids we were all two years yeah. apart except for more gap but um they uh I think it's more if 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 uh, my family members actually sat down and watched it, yeah. they would like remember it. Or there was a guy, one of the guys who does this is one of my favorite stories. Dave Kushner um, from Velvet Revolver does the music on it, and um, he told me this story one night. I was just out to lunch. I was in the afternoon. He told me this story of uh, him coming out of some club on Sunset and being hammered. And he was running across the street with his amp and his guitar, and he was so shit faced that when he lost his balance, it started flying forward. All he thought was to save his gear, yeah. <laughs> so he stuck his arms out like that, and he literally fell face down on the pavement and like like just broke all his teeth. Like I was to hear him tell the story, I was crying laughing. Yeah. <laughs> so then we had a uh, an episode where Kevin plays guitar and he was sneaking out he's running away from his dad and we had him run across and he does the face plan and I forgot what it was in there so then Dave was doing the music and he, he freaked out he's like yeah. oh my god goes, yeah. that's, my, that's my thing I did that and, yeah. I, and I forgot I said I don't know if you put that in and I watched it back at number I was like oh my god because there's so many little yeah. parts into yeah. it and all that stuff so there's a lot of that type of uh, like we still have to get you know, I don't want to ruin the joke, but there's something that he caught his dad saying to the TV. Yeah. You know, somebody, uh, you know, well, take us like a show, like, you know, you'll like the way I look. I guarantee it. And he was yeah. by himself. Ah, fuck you or something like that. So, yeah. I mean, whatever. Yeah, so what he said, yeah. it's something like a cigar commercial. So we're tr- we've been trying. That's been in every season yeah, and then taken it out. about eight times and he cut it. It was a guy saying, we're going to get you. And my dad's like, you're not going to get me, you son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He would yell at the TV. He wouldn't yell at us. No, yeah. he was really he super arrogant. He smoking a cigar going, oh, yeah. We're going to get you. Oh, yeah. We're going to get you. It was all by himself. Go, you're not going to get me. (laughs) (laughs) Son of a bitch. That's fucking great. Yeah, that was my dad. I think, you know, Jay and I, both uh, part of this show, coming in season five, late to our show, is we didn't have dads. And it's always like stories like that where you're like, fuck, man, it would have been cool to walk in and see an old man cursing at a TV instead of my mom's boyfriend who's just like, you left the TV on. And you're like, I fucking hate you. (laughs) Oh, dude, I I, I would not have, like... You can't tell me you didn't have a physical conference. Once you got old enough. The, guy, the one guy I wanted to fight moved no. out like uh. almost the week I got the, his size. Like the week, uh, the week I woke up. He, he felt it coming. He yeah. felt it coming. Joe, Joe felt the rumblings where I was like, oh, yeah, this is it. <laughs> this is the week I take the mantle. And he's like, hey, I'm moving with Linda. And you're like, fuck. My stepfather boxed my ear once and I cried. <laughs> my mom took me to the hospital. <laughs> yeah. He came back. He felt bad. And we never had any other physical shit again. That's a great word. By the way, Alex still saw the DM where it's like, so he learned his lesson that day. My mom was pretty pissed. Probably 
withheld pussy for at least a day. <laughs> yeah. Got him on the dry end of the stick. Uh, he less and less. She froze him out a yeah. couple days. That's got to be uh, like a show like that. <laughs> Jesus, Jay. <laughs> you met Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Shook hands with the man. <laughs> I'm um, glad I didn't know that story. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't just do it for nothing. I was like, I like yelled at my brother or something. It was a highly aggressive act for sure. But was it, it was the cup? Yeah, you can, you can you hurt somebody's hurt somebody's hearing. Yeah, he didn't yeah. do it like on purpose. Do it. It was, it was act. That's why he felt so bad about it. But that was uh, oh, so he was trying to slap you in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did a little, little Mayweather <laughs> like shoulder slip, roll. Tried to slip it. Just so you think I'm not backpedaling. <laughs> then he molested me. So. <laughs> he ear popped you. Got your uh, fucking got you. Gave your vertigo. Yeah, and went was, in for the kill. I, he, yeah, he made sure I had to stay in bed the next. Day, and then he came in and touched my dick. Yeah, that's fair. This is the show, Mike. <laughs> and they should have warned you when he came in here. Don't worry. Yeah, don't Mike's worry. like, what am I going into? And you're like, I don't know. Have you yeah. ever been? Uh, you ever smoked cigarettes with the kids behind the dumpster? This, this is a uh, good cop, uh, filthy cop. <laughs> yeah, the filthy cop tricks me into going rogue. That's always what you happens. Do, he but, does dress like that that the maniac cop on Hill Street Blues with like oh, the yeah, finger of glove. This is called sleaze core. I don't know if you guys follow Pete Davidson's dress style, but he's really liberated me to sweatpants out of the yeah, house. Pete, Pete's given Jay the confidence. That he's going to start wearing sweatpants now all the time. What you said there was one place you not went. all the time, but <laughs> I it was very liberating. Today I just got all broadcast stuff, so I was like, why am I going to yeah. go? You know, and my jeans require the belt, and then there's the chain, and then the scarf it's in the starch. back pocket, the whole thing. <laughs> starch. starch. Yeah. Got to really get those legs crisp. It's oh. a whole ordeal. Wear sweatpants, man. Yeah. Well, well sweatpants we're weren't big back in the 70s where F is for family yes. takes place November 30th. I was seeing how you're going to do it. Three. I was watching. I was watching from afar. I was like, we got Bill far away from the plug. I would get nervous if I was wearing sweatpants that one of my asshole friends would come up and... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, you are. Trunks and all, yeah. You know what's funny is, uh, like, that generation of comics from the... You know, we idolize, like, watching the table and, and Tough Crowd and all that. But to hear you guys talking, it's the way, like, listening to a Vietnam vet, you go, I walk in Robinson's yeah. at my 3 o'clock. I got Patrice at my five. I get clipped. I'm in a fucking river of blood with Colin. Some nights, some nights she just stood up in battle. Like, I'm just going to walk in <laughs> yeah. and just take this and get it over with. Yeah. I'm I, going to agree with all of it. I caught the movie version. So my generation caught the very wisps. You know, it was like the fumes were clearing. I got I got beat up a couple times by Colin, Jim, Bobby. Bobby would, you know, put out some beatings on young guys. But oh, it Bobby was, me. Yeah. Yeah. Bobby did, we learned that when the way we learned the game was mean and Bobby was meaner than me and Bob, Bobby's, uh, which is saying something, his catchphrase, I always loved it because like he'd be throwing them in, getting laughs, getting laughs, and he would just go too far. <laughs> yeah. And everybody would just shut up and just go, Bob Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Bob but- Kelly called me once. Uh, I called somebody to, I think Keith Robinson, and tell him I, just, I think it was my first headline thing ever. And I called to tell him how good it went. And then he put me on speakerphone so everyone could bust my balls. And Bobby Kelly's last thing, he just goes, as well before he was a father, by the way, he goes, fuck, you know he wants to hear. He goes, I hope your kid gets sick and just hung up the phone. <laughs> and then it immediately rang back and he goes, because I, I guess what I heard was he hung up and everybody at the table was like, fuck, Bobby. I mean, that's like, what? You, and, he goes, ah, yeah. and he called right back and goes, dude, that was too far. I was, just, I was fucking around with those. That, was, that wasn't the right word. Uh, ah, dude, I'm real sorry. Dude. Uh, Bobby, when, when I was opening for one time, he's like, I'm going to call you about where, where to meet me tomorrow, stupid. So pick up the phone. And he calls, and I'm like, it's Bobby. And I pick up, and I go, hey, Bobby. He goes, hey, what's up? Get him. And you go, I fucking hate it's just like it was Keith and DeRosa coming out of the bush on a fucking conference call. And Bobby goes, you hang up. You're not opening for me tomorrow. And I just sat there on my phone in my living room looking down like I was getting grave news. Oh, DeRosa used to get so sent there, home there no almost gig? crying. And there was a gig. But uh, Bo- Bobby okay. held that over me. He goes, uh, you fucking hang up. I'll find someone else to open. So I just had to sit there. And for oh, I thought you were saying minutes. hang up because there's no No, gig. no, no. Bobby, that would be almost too mean. That is right. too mean. Dude, Bobby, DeRosa, like, does that, I, anything like that happen with the Simpsons? <laughs> when you're over there writing. What well, was the difference between writing there versus writing at Efforts for Family? <laughs> yeah, I like just you know, yeah. Simpsons, We've all been there for twenty years. <laughs> it's like just hanging out with your grandma. Was hanging out with was hanging out with Matt. I mean, Matt. You know, is like. Uh, with, did he have like Matt a Graining? Di- yeah, Matt Groening have like a different feel among the writers. Like, you know, yeah, it's, well, it's Bill's show, but he it's also like. 
Well, he's just great. I mean, Matt is such a great guy. He's really yeah. just a sweetheart. And he just, he just, he kind of just walks in and hey, and sits down. He's just like one of the guys. And then he goes away and, you know, not like Bill, the dictator. <laughs> no, yeah, Bill, 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 no, a real can, dictator. It can actually, a show can actually be run that way. You wouldn't know that whenever they make like shows about shows, it's always like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. They throw this shit Yeah, yeah, we've yeah. never seen that. We've so, never had any fight. We no. don't really have any fights in our thing. So you're not going to be on like a fucking behind the show about Bill and you go, he'd no. come off the road in a fury that That's I'd right. never seen. He'd come back. Great, no, no, I have too much of a show. need to be liked to <laughs> yeah. show these guys what no. the asshole I really am. No. no I show Bill's that to you guys. There. Yeah. Bill's just there in the room, occasionally lying down. You oh, know, yeah, when I had my back. sciatic nerve issue. Yeah, so, no. Just That's great. great. That's real creator pain. Where you go, like, hold on, my sciatic nerve, i got to lay down. And you go, pitch me ideas. You're just well, on the be, table. There'd be a couple of times where I didn't think you were there anymore. Strumming an acoustic guitar. <laughs> you go, yeah. 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 Is, that where, times, is that where he goes this season? A couple of times where we say something, and like, uh, Bill would like this. You know, no, it's all right. <laughs> 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 Back in the room on the Just a, like a new writer's yeah. like, oh, yeah. I think maybe in this episode. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be. Uh, well, the, ep- the yeah, We epi- don't get along great. F is for Family premiering on Netflix Friday, November 30th. Hell yeah. Yeah. And Bill also playing Madison Square Garden this Wednesday, sold out. That's right. Hell That's yeah, right. dude. That's amazing. It's got to be great to say Madison that Square Garden. That feeling when that sound hits you in the chest and you all got that's got to be unreal. Uh, yeah, but there's also the, uh, you know, the pressure of like, all right, I got to make this worth these people's while, you know, to come down. When I was, I did the garden in Boston. And so Verzi was and Tony V were opening. They were killing and everything. So now I have to go on. So I'm sitting there going through the usual shit of this. This is stupid. This feels like a cartoon character. Like, how the hell does this happen? This is awesome. But, you know, all of that doubt starts coming in. So then my phone rings and I see it's my wife, right? Nia's called me. I'm like, ah, see, this is why I married her. She's going to be like, I love you. You deserve this. Have fun. Sorry, can't be there. And I picked it up and she was crying hysterically. Like sobbing, and I was just like, "Oh my god!" First thing I thought was, "Kill, what happened? What happened? Yeah. Is she all right? What happened?" And she goes, "No, it's nothing bad." She goes, "I just saw a star is born. It was so good." <laughs> <laughs> so I just started laughing. I was like, "Yeah, Nia, I got a show to do." Yeah. And then she started laughing while crying. So it was like it kind of just you know yeah. diffused. And I went out and opened it, and it, and it you know didn't do as well as I wanted it to, but it got it got that first laugh, and then I got going. So yeah, I mean that's fucking hilarious. You're like, what's wrong? She's like, it's just it's, it's oh, yeah. a masterpiece. No, that that movie is their new ghost or uh, dirty dancing. Like I have not, I have not seen women. It's a remake. Crying. It's a remake of a oh, remake. Can you let them have their time? No, <laughs> no, God. You go. I'm standing up. They got enough. Talk to me about Christopherson. I'll have the discussion. That was a remake. I know. Oh, okay. like, back, back I like so wanted you not to know that. Yeah. <laughs> I watched the disappointment. I watched the disappointment go. You're like, fuck. You hear me? I was like, that was a remake. Yeah. But gotcha. I did learn <laughs> that much. when I knew when I found they were making this remake that that was also. I didn't know that for a long time. I didn't know it either. I didn't, even, like know the, the I didn't even know the movie one. existed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The four, this is like the, originally there was one in the 30s that was called What Price Hollywood, and that was the original one, then the stars. Oh, they changed the name of it. Yeah. Yeah. Like when yeah. they made Can't Buy Me Love into Nick Cannon's Love Don't Cost a Thing. Thing. Yeah. Comes back Remember that it. show, Stump the Schwami? Yeah. About sports? He's like that with TV <laughs> and movies. Like <laughs> I this stuff. Pretty much. But we, when I, I watch TV, yeah. Yeah. I like to watch Netflix yeah. and watch F is for Family premiering <laughs> this oh, Friday. Oh, getting in on yeah. this, huh? Oh, it's Friday, November 30th. Yeah. yeah. My bad. God just damn it, Jay. We were there. We were so there. Fucking there. She brought it up. It was fantastic. Uh, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us, man. Philly accent was, uh, just came out. It was fantastic. It was yeah. fantastic. This guy's yeah. an asshole. You guys got to get a hang Yeah, we're Go on break, and then we got to pay some bills. These commercials, uh, yeah. So if you guys are going to go home, that's cool. If not, okay, better. <laughs> that's cool. If you're thirsty, you can get a drink out of the hose. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a subtle accent; I'll, n- I'll never be able to pick it up. Yeah, I love gross. it though. I love no the Philly and the Pittsburgh accent. I love very you're underrated. Real, underrated. Underrated. I'm a Baltimore guy. I like a Baltimore accent. The same thing. Yeah, yeah. Mid Atlantic. It's it a little more twin on it. A little more, no, little more say, humidity on water. it. <laughs> water. Water. Get water. gas. That's what uh, yeah, Ginger Ninja kept doing. Get gas. Yeah, salute the flag. Pittsburgh, yeah. Pittsburgh's at Yins. That's my neighborhood. Yeah. 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 Yins going in. Yins going to get breakfast or something. Yeah. That's what it's nothing yeah, else sounds like that. an I don't even know what that means. Like, that's, from, that's a whole different word. I mean, at least you guys have accents where you're from. I'm from Colorado where everyone's like, hello, <laughs> the air is thin. Yeah. <laughs> that's all we got. Are you guys going to all read the news? We interrupt this program to let you know that Colorado has thin air. Uh, F is for family, Friday, November 30th. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you Thank for you. having us. And we all, it all leads back to the plug. It always, yeah. it always does. Yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll be right back. It's the bonfire. bonfire.
And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Hey, sexies. Hey. <laughs> It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95, Big Joe Okerson, Dan Soder. Hi. Did you have something you have to say or something? Hey, just real quick before we bring on our guests, and, and again, I don't like to get this personal often, but... Rip into it. Let's talk about how you get your clothes, guys. Shopping's I've been doing. Terrible. I've been doing like an idiot, I think, just shopping. In stores? Yeah. Come here, closer so I can slap you in your mouth, because you're stupid. I deserve it. You stupid. <laughs> Yeah, get knuckle sit down. Cramp dressing room, endless searching for your size. Well, psh, stop. Those days are over. Introducing Bombfell, the easiest way for guys to get better clothes. No shopping required. You'll be matched with a dedicated personal stylist who sends your clothes from the best brands and on your fit and taste right to your door. Try That's on why everything. You look so good. Dude, and I'm this sleaze jacket. core. This is a straight up. You're sleaze corn. I'm Bombfellin. Bombfell.com. This is how you read a commercial. Uh, try everything on. It's actually pretty awesome because you try stuff on, set it back if you don't like it. And the more stuff you keep, the bigger of a discount you get. So go to bombfell.com. And uh, if you do, if you do go to bombfell, bombfell.com, we'll get you $25 off your first purchase. Bomb, bombfell, that's B-O-M-B-F-E-L-L.com slash bonfire for $25 off. Bombfell.com slash bonfire. So anyways, Jay, that's what I want to get off. Joining us on the show, new <laughs> podcast. <laughs> this motherfucker is... Easily one of my favorite human beings on planet. Oh, I love you. 500 with Josh Adam Myers out now. Josh Adam Myers is here doing the 500 greatest albums on Rolling Stone, right? We're doing Rolling Stone Magazine's list of the five greatest albums. We're yeah, 500. Which was? Our way, which was what's number you just, 500. You just did it with Byron Bowers. It was, uh, it was Outcast of Clemini. Great album. Uh, and then we're working our way down to one. And uh, it's, it's going to take about 10 years. It was pretty yeah. cool because I was talking to Josh about Josh's this. voice and headphones is just made for radio. Oh, I'm Coming. All right, everybody, we're giving away them Iggy Biz tickets on 95.5 The Skis, guys. Are you guys <laughs> who wants talking tickets? Talking playing Echo Raceway this Dude. Thursday at 5 p.m. I don't do this. I don't ever do this. But as, prog as program director and music director, respectively, of the only pro-opiate radio station, JNK, WJNK, the junk, we want to offer you a full-time job. All right, guys, the big event coming up on Saturday is going to be sponsored by Fentanyl. Yeah. Don't forget, everybody, yeah. put that 100 milligram patch on and scratch yourself. JNK. It's Fentanyl. It's Fentanyl. It's Fentanyl. Bringing you all the hits of yesterday, today, and tomorrow when you sleep through it. It's WJNK. Are you guys ready for some sleepy arena rock? Yeah. <laughs> These guys died on heroin, so you don't have to. <laughs> JNK Radio. Do you, are you afraid to boot up, but you want to hear someone sing about it? <laughs> then welcome Alice in Chains right here on WJNK. We're doing an all heroin rock block for the next half hour. Hour, everybody, we might even throw in some cocaine. Tony Orlando started off. <laughs> oh, dude, Tony Orlando <laughs> kicking it off. This station could be awesome. Listen, clear channel. Our channels are open. <laughs> We'll see you in the boardroom. Dude, me and Josh, Josh worked with me this weekend in Minneapolis. The House of Comedy, right next to a very lovely Jamba Juice. Let me just say, this Jamba Juice at the Mall of America. We saw it. It's fantastic. Does not fantastic. care. Fantastic. How good of a Jamba Juice. What about the Nestle cookie nook that's like a couple <laughs> stores down? Friend, we're talking, it's been a couple of years since I've been in that river. <laughs> um, me and Josh got super stoned one afternoon, and we're outside bullshitting, and just did something that made me laugh for three days since. And from the get-go, we said it, I go, Soda's going to love this. Yeah. You'll, you'll fall into it. And so will everybody listening. We uh, <laughs> we were talking about a butterfly effect at yeah. one point. And just in life, which as everyone knows, they say, you know, whatever, you kill a butterfly, it changes the world. It ends like Armageddon, basically. It could, those series of events. We were in an elevator coming downstairs. And Josh was singing It Must Have Been Love by Roxette. I've been listening to the Eurythmics right now for the podcast. Okay. I'm going to tape their album Touch. And, and I was like, God, this reminds me of the Eurythmics. And there's so many great, I mean, they remind me of Roxette. There's so many great Roxette songs. And so I just started singing them under my breath. And Jay started catching on. Because I was like, she's got the look. There's, just, yeah. there's so much. But when we hit It Must Have Been Love, uh, there's this group of these three girls in the elevator. And I look at one of them. I go, you like that song, don't you? She goes, oh, my God, I'm going to go home and download this track no, tonight. What, what she was behind her, she goes, I love that song. She started like, singing the lyrics also. And, and, then we, <laughs> and we, but it's over now. 
yeah, we start getting it. a little bit ahead of her, you stop the music for a second, Lou, only because it just makes us laugh so hard. Because as we were walking in front of her, we just hear her talking to her friend, and she goes, you know what? I'm going to go home and download that song tonight. And I just went, Sarah did go home and download that song, <laughs> setting into motion a train of events the like of which the world would never see again when she left the stove on to do, and an ember fell out, burning down her entire building. And <laughs> Sarah so did go home. Doing the freeze frame of the butterfly effect of one thing leading to so many other yeah. fucking dumb shit. You, it will catch you. You'll do it nonstop. You're like, dude, I didn't think I was going to have to, but I actually do. I'm going to have to go take a shit. And then you just always picture that freeze Jay, frame. He goes, Jay, did, Jay did go shit that day. What? He didn't knows who is running into in the path <laughs> would turn his life upside down. Would change the lives of 17 yeah. people forever. Yeah, that's pretty fucking great. That's Dude, a fun one. It'll just yeah. catch, and as it just lives throughout the show, you'll see how fun that will be. Yeah, just Dude, a, a guest. Because a freeze frame, he goes, we did plug Bill Burr's show, and it went on to win <laughs> several Emmys that year. What you didn't know is one of those Emmys would cost me my left leg. <laughs> yeah. It was stolen yeah. and used to beat me unmercifully. <laughs> Until I bled out. <laughs> yeah, that's a fun one. That's a fun, that's always, it's always fun to bump into stuff like that with friends where you're like, oh, we can just do this unlimited amount of times. Yeah. Because the whole weekend. It yeah. Was like, it was nonstop. It was actually, it goes, it goes, I'm going to get a salad from Panera, actually. <laughs> Jake didn't get that salad from Panera. Changing his mind from freshie to Panera. Sent and sent. <laughs> Set in motion a train of events. And why we live on Mars. <laughs> <laughs> what? For having a fucking salad? Wow. That was, dot, dot, dot. And now everyone's dead. Yeah. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Let's yeah. start off with a decision over Toll House or Java Juice. <laughs> I couldn't handle Butterfly Effect because it was when I was in my most stoner phase. Yeah. So I saw it and I was like, is this true? Is this real? I can't think about it. It hurts. <laughs> is this an Ashton Kutcher movie? I couldn't handle Butterfly Effect because... Because everyone said I look like the fat goth kid that was yeah, in his yeah. room with him. Stop. But he changes through a couple different butterfly effects. Yeah, he actually yeah. turns out to be a preppy kid and one of them very successful. And then he eventually loses weight and does My Name is Earl. I know. But besides that, I'm either the white supremacist version of that guy or the fat goth one. Stop. Stop. You're different now. Your butterfly effect has changed. Jay did look like him, but in a certain year. And now, a genitive. Numbering him okay. <laughs> outside of a train station. You know what? Patuxica. I'm going to get thin so people don't say I look like this guy. Jay did lose the weight and then went mad with hunger. Because of an <laughs> old Native American chief that cursed him. I'm giving you the thinner treatment. Dude, it's the most fun. Yeah. I was That's a fun thing to, that you can just keep coming back to. Or it's fun if you come out of it out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. That's what we were that's doing throughout the whole week. Yeah. It, it, was, it was everywhere. You it was forget like, totally about it. And by the way, talking to other people, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, people be like, hey, where are you going back after this? And it's like, well, it's like tomorrow morning we get out pretty early and fly to New York. And you see her out of the corner of my ear, I hear Josh go, Jay did fly to New York that day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, the uh, Vecchione and I have been doing one for the past two days that's very timely, but it'll die tomorrow where we're doing negative campaign ads about each other <laughs> in our living room. <laughs> where it's like... I go, uh, I'm Dan Soder. Mike Vecchione says he does his dishes in the... I know, he doesn't. Are you sure you want to vote for a liar? And even worse, a guy who likes dirty dishes? I'm Dan Soder, not paid for this message. <laughs> <laughs> so we were doing the, the last two days, we were doing... He goes, he is goes, America, are you ready to clean his dirty dishes? Vecchione had the best one where he goes... <laughs> I don't know if you're sick of breathing in all this pot smoke, but I am. I'm Mike Vecchione. Dan Soder says that he only smokes at the end of the day, but I know he's woken up and smoking in the morning. Are you sure you want to have a wake and bake around you all the time? I'm Mike Vecchione, and I pay for this. <laughs> but that's done after election day. Cause, but you, you, the fucking the butterfly effect goes on. Do you want this guy rolling out law while he's rolling in doobies? <laughs> yeah. I'm Mike Vecchione, and I paid for dinner tonight. <laughs> I, paid for I paid for delivery tonight. <laughs> uh, you're doing goddamn comedy jam. We are doing it tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. You're going to come hang? Uh, come Warsaw. up at the end. And what time does it start? 9 p.m. starts at Warsaw in Brooklyn. I'm gonna we got it. a special guest, too. Huh? A special guest. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's me. I'm, I'm coming. Mm. It's me. I can't get you to sing anymore. You've no, you've dude. done it twice. I'm you so afraid of it. I'm so afraid of it. Do not <laughs> like it. Dude, someone was playing out there tonight. Yeah, hey, I did that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what Josh does to get you really motivated to sing, too, if you feel like you don't want to? Is he knows every song, but knows one or two words of all of them, yeah. and just lives it, which is impressive as all hell. 
Half the time on stage you sing just nonsense. I, I don't say any of the right words when I'm doing the goddamn comedy <laughs> jam. Only one song I've ever, ever gotten right. And it makes you, he did a joke where he said, he was fucking with the audience this weekend, said something about Nickelback. Fucking Nickelback, and he goes, "Never made it as a blind man." Yeah, I'm sick of something. So, and he, it was all the it was all wrong. It's and just, I'm, just, I'm in the back, and part of me still going, "It's like I never made it as a wise man." Yeah, come on, dude. Didn't cut it as a permissive. You no, know, it's just gibberish, man. It's yeah. just he starts By the way, skitting and scatting. By the way, it hurts again, all over again. Oh, Christine man. put the picture up there to keep me in line. <laughs> Christine did know what she was doing. <laughs> and Christine up. knew where that guy was. Yeah, Christine knew. And that in that moment, is. Big J turned down dessert. Too. Oh, look at the now. new Big J. Look at sexy yeah. Big J. And now, now, by the way, he was uh, way worse looking than me and now way better looking than me. He Chris Pratted. He was fat better than me and skinny better Stop than me. Stop it. He doesn't have those big blue eyes. You shut up. And look at Jimmy Carr, smarmy face, making faces at me in the side of that picture. Oh, oh, so you don't <laughs> like living. He goes, do you think that's how you looked? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I could say the resemblance. Yeah. I I think if I did goddamn comedy jam again, I would do crash test dummies just because that's the only song I feel comfortable That was There's fantastic. More, There's, There's so much more you, more can, you do. can do, yeah. I don't believe in myself. With that voice. Well, you should. Yeah. Have us some Leonard Cohen. <laughs> or uh, what call Tom Waits. Oh, dude, I'll do Tom Waits. Yeah, you can definitely do Tom Waits. I'll do Tom so Waits. <laughs> I go good down in a gun street, girl. He could, he could do Doctor John. You know, very like like Bayou singing. Oh hell yeah! Now when I buy you, <laughs> crack it down. You, you, you know, what you can pull off it's a sing along. You probably do. Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll. One of my favorite things to do is like you take two web pages, you open up like a YouTube clip of like of um of the you the Uncle Cracker song, yeah. like playing that song, and then you open up a Pornhub page of just girls getting bukkakied, and you just yeah. turn down the volume on the bukkake and let that song play, and it just adds the perfect soundtrack. Oh. It's not, it's not, it's <laughs> not unfounded. I told you my first porn ever was Brandy or a Fine Girl. While girls got massive cum shots, it was a compilation of cum shots to Brandy or a Fine Girl. So that's, that's the, my introduction to that song. So does like, that song bump you up every? In response, but I never hear it and don't pump? think about that's where I know. Oh it's yeah, from. it's stuck in your head, of course. It's they say that and just like you can just be walking through a mall and unless I brought your fine girl. Yeah, <laughs> and you do Uncle Cracker. Yeah, I do the Uncle Cracker version What's that? of it. Follow me. No, it's that song. Oh, give me the beat. Oh, okay. I thought, I, thought doing, that. I thought you were doing Follow me. No, he did a cover me, of that. Everything <laughs> is all right. My favorite that's is works uh, too. <laughs> what Lewis what Lewis J Gomez does is still the best. He puts on a porno and then turns the volume down and on another screen opens up a video of that porn girl uh, denouncing porn and saying what a nightmare it was to work in pornography. Wow, that's deep. <laughs> that's it's dark. That it's is dark, really dark, dark, but I fully get it. He goes, yeah, I like flip flopping. I don't know why. That's what I, I do with politicians. It, yeah. I find old videos of them promising one thing, and I find new videos of them going against it. I go, yeah. And by the way, I'm not a producer, like you know, whatever. I'm talking about ones where it's like just the girls who are like, oh my god, like I never even had. You that. gotta like fuck these guys. Like, I didn't come. Like it was just like business. Like these guys are so gross, and you see her like acting like yeah, yeah. He's like yeah, yeah. I'm shaving. I'm totally shaving. Making their guy feel like, super comfortable. <laughs> All the dudes in there look all fucking. I'll tell you who doesn't. What, I'll, I'll tell you who doesn't like that. Movies? I'll What's tell you. That? The, Did you say in porno movies? Yeah. Just, they're all just yeah, just completely waxed. Just yeah. I'll tell you who doesn't <laughs> like that creepy where you watch a porn and you're like, man, it's actually uncomfortable. There's a girl. I found this or I came across just in like regular porn. Came across the you sly dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> um, in my <laughs> porn searching the other day, I found a girl. I saw the name and I was like, oh, I think me and Ralph interviewed her. Her name was Portia or something. Go on. And she does one of those videos like Portia the, Davis. I think it's like the Habib show. You ever see videos from clips from that thing? It's very like it's it's like hood porn. Okay. And it's one of those. And in one of them, they bring Ron Jeremy comes in. And I just met this girl. And I remember being kind of nice. Yeah. And like you know, and just the scenes Ron Jeremy comes in, and he's just like weirdly. You can put all this good audio on it where he's just looking at her. He's like, oh, yeah, that's an ass, you know, because he's got that Jewish. He's like, yeah. that's an ass right there, you know. He's got, look at, tilt it up. Look at that. Look at the, look at the, look at the vagina. Look at that. And then he just, like, pulls his dick out and just, like, starts, like, cramming it. It's just very, like, yeah, that's what I'm here to do. And, like, it's just so, like. Yeah. 
I mean, that's what Ron Jeremy gets brought places to do. It's yeah, like, that's it's just his like job. stuff it is. It's just yeah. a stu- coming... He's a stuffer. He's always yeah. been a stuffer. Like, he's, yeah. look at him. he's not he a romancer. He looks like, uh, he looks like, um, what's the Andy? He looks like Tony Clifton. I thought that was Zoe Saldana. Yeah. He's like, look at this. Look at a butt. Wolf. Yes. How long is this previous? See if you can get, uh, put the volume on. She's like, well, oh. And he's like, yes, it's very nice. Yeah, uh, go back. Ron Jeremy comes Back up, in. yeah. See where Ron Jeremy comes in. Hey, fun. <laughs> Those interviews are always so funny because yeah, they're giggly. like. <laughs> but when Ron Jeremy comes in, it's like, you like Ron Jeremy? She's like, sure. Hello. Hello. I think so. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Are we going to have fun? This is this our okay. conversation? It's coast, nigga. Yes, sir. Stand up, girl. Stand is this up. like a switcheroo type thing? He goes, I'm going to bring in my science teacher. <laughs> he goes, you know a lot about the water displacement. What about the vagina displacement? What a weird piercing to have yeah. on her hip. Yeah. That is a weird place. Oh, that my God. That butt is oh. very underwhelming. Look at that burger. <laughs> Look very, at that burger. I'm not going to lie. I am very <laughs> underwhelmed by that butt. No offense. Yeah, thank very God bless hairy. her for showing. Oh, that is perfect. That's hey. a hairy shitter for hey. sure. Hey. 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 Oh, my God. Hey. Oh, yeah, you can handle it. Hey. Oh. Hi. She goes, okay, that's, guys, that's enough. Just one of those. Man, the inside of her vagina is pink like fucking old Madonna high heels. <laughs> and then what, Ron Jeremy just comes in? Yeah, just, well, I'm just saying, he, hi. There oh, here you go, yeah. Hey, let me see if I, hey, do hey, do you guys have a schmear and a bagel in here? I'm, f- I'm famished. He goes, oh, nice to meet you. Are we going to kiss? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, the weird, like. This is weird. Turn it up. Like, okay. Ah! Oh my uh, god! Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, looks like a bird. That's so hard. And she, oh. and by the way, she has to turn around and choke back, puke, and go. I'm sorry. She was. That, he's so just, nice. Just, my ass is so breezy right now. I'm sorry if that tasted like whitefish. Well, yeah. You have to go back and listen to all of his oh. dialogue. He goes. Oh, I was eating Fritos on the <laughs> elevator ride up. Let me get a look at these boobs. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, this is uh, yikes. And he's such an old man. He's like, oh, look at these fun bags. Hey. Yay, look. Oh, these are knuckle biters. Mm. Are you backing it up? Where he, I want to hear the stuff he was saying there. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. She's, like, she's got to act like she's about to do a jump. She's like, no, 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 I'm ready. Ah, let's go. Ha, ah, come on. Fucking, you motivate yourself. She's giving herself a pep talk. <laughs> she's like, oh, you can do it. Porsche, you're in it? You're already in it? Porsche, Let's yeah, just fucking, fucking get the money. You were going to do it. Now it's time to pick up. Remember you no Miata. You walked and away. Here we are. You walked away from the cello in the tenth grade, and you always regretted it. You will not walk away from this. Ah, fuck. Let's hear his fuck words. So I want to hear, hear what Ron Jeremy says. Oh, look at the took us. Oh yeah. I nailed it. I nailed it. I guessed that right. Let's see your boobies. Oh, like two matzo balls. Let me see your boobies. Oh, how Let me get my between these and go. Oh boy. Oh, look at you when you're Dude, it's, just, it's weird, man. It's just like a weird looking dude now. He was a weird looking guy. Yeah, so you go, it's like, it's like, it's like man, you're so hot. You care yeah. if I bring in my great uncle to fuck you? <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, what if I told you a ghost came to life and he's going to have sex with you? Listen to his words. I want you to see when he stuffs it in. It's so weird. Yeah. He goes, oh. okay. How are you doing? Wow. The guy sitting at the desk, he goes, you got to pay extra for Wi-Fi. <laughs> he's unfazed. <It's> sick. <laughs> Hey. Uh, uh, and she just, God bless her. Just, oh, shit. Ah. Oh, shit, there's an old Jewish guy biting my nipple. Oh. oh. And then Brandon Roy, the old <laughs> boy card. <laughs> Brandon Roy's playing with my pussy? I don't, I don't Whatever you want. Man, respect. Oh, man. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, show you it up. Yeah, we're going this way. <laughs> can, I do, can I do one little shot? Is that not allowed? Teacher's and that's the way that I like it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Legendary. Bro. Face down, ass up. That's the way I like it. I just like pajama pants. Yeah, you know, he just pulls and he just squeezes the base and just rams it in. See, guys, wave in here, honey. That's the view. That's the view. Yeah. That's the view, yeah. He's just like, oh. it's just. That's good shit. That's, good shit. that's, not, that's not good shit. No, it's terrible. <laughs> it's really sad, I'm, I'm, I'm the sound guy. I go, no, guys, this is not good. <laughs> this this is, is horrible. I don't mean to tell you your product. But it's, just like, it's just like pulling out of your pee hole porn. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Please look guys. up look up Ron Jeremy's best lines. I bet they're just every one of them's gonna be hilarious. The sound guy's just like this is why I shouldn't do fucking on union. This is why 
I, you're non-union. You get stuck into this kind of situation. My, my son does not know what I did to get him the bike money for what? his birthday. What you say, I Christine? worked audio on this fucking thing. What would you say, Christine? She, she's like visibly not liking this. Yeah. She, 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 uh, she's kind of like, her, she's kind of like, okay, and kind of turning away. You can almost feel her body, oh, no, listen, like, no, no, no. I think feel her girl, body kind of retracting. Listen, I, and I'm telling you, if it, if that was the thing, I feel like she's just doing her. I think she's like disconnected from it, but she knows she has to play the role. But yeah, yeah I, I, she's definitely not like. <laughs> she's well, not, you know, going to be awesome, fucking Ron Jeremy. She's like, that's what I'm <laughs> she's, doing today. Sitting right now, she's thinking, she's like, gosh, I should have invested that money. That, yeah. What a weird thing. Invested fuck. that money. What am I doing? I mean, weird. Wait, go back to that fucking. Look, he's trying to get the end of the fucking peanut butter when he finger fucks her. Go to the very end. <laughs> it is one of those things, man. When you think about young trophy wives that have sex with older dudes like this, yeah, look, <laughs> look at the end of this. That was kind of kiddle. <laughs> well, I liked it. <laughs> Just side to side. Goes, there's more in there. There's more in there. That was, that was Why would I buy a whole new peanut butter when there's probably the peanut butter down here at the bottom? That was change in next to the seat in your car. <laughs> yes. he goes, Where is He's like trying to get it out. He goes, You're trying to feel for a penny? He goes, uh-huh. I think I got a side of a nickel. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, it's fucking... Bringing Ron Jeremy in, when she found that out that day at work, she was like, fuck. Man. I don't know if they really are. They have to be. Tons of girls do this with him. I'm telling you. They always go, it's like, well, he's professional. Listen, that was all like sort of a thing. But just the idea of it being like coming, it's like, yeah, I come in and plop it in. But they're always like, he's professional and respectful. And, uh, you know, but, but I don't. He's just I, an open. It's an old creepy Jewish man just coming in to fuck no. you. It's a really weird but setup. Are they still using him now because he's a fetish? Mm-hmm. Because there's obviously. But who's. He's not a fetish. fetish. He's not a fetish. He particularly, Ron Jeremy, is not a fetish is the wrong word, but people just like to go watch a seventy eight well, year old. Yes, because I mean, I'm telling you dude, why. You know, the only way I can bust a nut if I see my old guidance counselor Ron, fucking. I'm know, surprised either of you guys ever felt this. I bet everybody else in the room never or, 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 or at least old person. DJ porn. Lou will back with me. I don't watch old people porn uh, either. But Ron Jeremy was always goofy looking. His career. When he was yeah. young, he was like, oh, he was, yeah. When he was young, he was in shape. But <laughs> most so of his goofy. career was him being like this odd looking guy. But, and it was because you could go, oh, this guy's fucking her. I could picture like me. me no, but back her. then, Jay. No, but back now then, there was there was like no selection. Plus, you had VHS. So the tape that you got, if he was fucking a hot girl on it, you had to watch him fucking a hot girl. It's, it's not like I reason, was ever like. It's a reason <laughs> Randy West did have a career. Yes. Because people were like, I want to see the girl. I got to deal with Randy West. I can now. Now it's like, I mean, who is this like going to Actually stopped to watch. Oh, to me, point. it was always something like Randy West is like, oh, I could like get it together as much as a Randy West. Okay, yeah, that's the same. That's almost the, that's the same muscle. Randy, you're like, all right, I, you, this guy. I, but maybe Randy I West is like the right. Steve Jobs. I, I can put myself in there more than I, when I see a guy. All the pro porn now is guys that are flawlessly jacked with like n- covered in tattoos and just this like unattainable for me to think that I can. That I'm just like, oh, it's that extraordinarily. You know, I, I say run of the, I say run of the mill porn hot. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, fucking another guy with like you know. There's a bunch of like, regular dude porn stars that you can just not you anymore. Know. When yeah, I was there's... younger, a bunch of them, dude. There was a, yeah. bunch, a bunch of regular bodies. Your Mike Horners. Of oh, the world. I love the Mike Horner. I, I was gonna TT think... boy. You know, TT like... boy was in good shape, but though. a decent shape, and you know, a young guy. Who was the Who was the guy that was the drop and loads guy? Drop and loads. Nick Mannix, but that was later. Yeah, that, that is later. later. Randy West was the best. Oh, yeah. uh, Dude, Ed Powers uh, with his puffy nips and his that, fat Dirty body. Debutantes was an incredible series. That was my shit. It went shout up to like two hundred. Shout, out, or shout something. out to Seymour Butts. <laughs> Seymour Butts was all right. Good looking dude, but uh, he. But yeah, he was a he was a better looking dude. Like it made sense he was getting that yeah, Hollywood that, like porn yeah. pussy. Dude, Ed Powers was greasy. Yeah, he was on bad. his best day. Like a bad math teacher, just like <laughs> yeah. completely. You can put it, you can, by the way, there's pictures of him. he got like in shape at times, weird. But most of the time, he would just be like fat and odd. But he fucked everybody way early in the game. He was a look at first. that guy. That is a fucking. Mo- that is a. Oh, dude, he does look like a math teacher. Dude, like he's a- like your fucking weird friend when you were younger. He grew up and and does this now. She's like, hey, well, she's like, he's crazy. That's what I'm telling bang you. Him. 
A, a wealthy guy who looks like this is who creates Sex Island. Yes. Yes. We talk sure. about sex. We revisit. Well, we actually have a new candidate to go to Sex Island on Thursday's episode. You'll hear it. It's a lost tape. Yeah. Looks like I'm a whole new way. candidate. We might be sending somebody to Sex Island. Someone from the show might be going After to Sex Island all. this year. Christine, pack your bags. You're going. You want to Christine, fight? <laughs> Christine did go to Sex Island that summer. And she broke her jaw from how much <laughs> What you don't know. Oh, is that, that's, that's our butterfly effect song. I like it. And, uh, there's Ron Jeremy quotes. We have some good ones of him there's just some, talking. It's still made the same Perfect. <laughs> Is Eskimo kissing? Where are Eskimos? Uh, Alaska. Yeah, the creative juices start flowing when I see things like that. We can't fake that. What is this? Sayings? Yeah, it sounds like yeah, editing, smart. folks. That's not special effects. <laughs> you gotta be that's a real big about it. That's, that's things he said. That's not anything, that's a special effects. That's really her pussy or whatever. <laughs> I'm stunned. Look at her pussy. Hey. This is just the saddest Look at his one. face. You just come back, I'm like, Duh, He looks God. half asleep right now. And by, the way, by the way, he's also a narcoleptic. Is oh, he really? He's yeah, at the comic. He's at the comedy store all the time, falls asleep in yeah. one of like the back booths. If you go to the rainbow room, he's he's usually there yeah. and asleep. He'll just sit down at bed like booths where people are eating and just pass out. Love Dude, it. One time, yeah. what a power move. Dude, he came Very to the powerful. comedy cellar one time. He's got a big old dick and he just sleeps wherever he wants. With Dennis <laughs> Hoff. He oh, yeah. came in with Dennis Hoff. All right. All right. In the house in the sky. In the sky. Uh, <laughs> Dude took prostitution Ron, to the next level. Ron Jeremy fell asleep. In the corner, the corner seats, but he they kind of slid in where no one saw they were there. Yeah, and so he was in the back corner, and I did my set, and I had a joke that went really well. I was just waiting for that to happen enough so I can go. I go, people, that joke was so funny, it killed Ron Jeremy, <laughs> and it, which made people just kind of laugh by me saying those words, and then to look over and see an unconscious Ron Jeremy in the corner, actually Ron Jeremy. Yeah, yeah. it's one of those feelings you're like that'll ne- you can't yeah, recreate that ever perfect. again. Yeah, that is just perfect. You can take this off, but his face when he. Uh, is fucking now. It's just it's, it's an old Jewish, weird Jewish guy. It's like you're watching him eat a ish, sandwich. Ish, yes, yeah. Like there's lettuce falling out of his mouth. The sun. The best part about this pussy gets so wet. <laughs> Stop. I, I like my pussy with a. Barrel. I, like this. I like a barrel pickle. <laughs> <laughs> I slurp the lips like soup. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, she told the guy he parked the car around the corner. <laughs> this pussy is my boy. Really. Do you have liverwurst? Yes. <laughs> do you have spicy mustard? No. Then you do not have liverwurst. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you gotta be. And to me, you have no liverwurst. What is the what is the porn equivalent of calling in Ron Jeremy? It's like when the WWE brings in the Rock to put over guys. They're like, he's here. No, it's, Ron when, Jeremy's they bring, no, it's when they bring back like fucking the old like Pat whatever. Oh, Pat Patterson. Pat Patterson. Like, I wrestled when it was just us in trunks. Yes, exactly. Ron Jeremy is the fabulous moolah of... <laughs> <laughs> Who do you want me to fuck? I mean, but he goes in... He's put his dick in the last several years. I think he's still doing it, but it, w- within the last 10 years, oh, man. smoking hot chicks, man, and they just let him do it. He just wears pajama pants. He, dude, he's, he's a sleazecore. Oh, yeah. Major scuzz. But look at him kicking it with Axl Rose. Also, shorts and a blazer, sleaze core. <laughs> but, the, but you don't understand. Sm- I, I would guarantee, I'd be willing to bet money that girls on the level, every day somewhere he goes, a girl at least a seven a day. Oh, he's at Laugh Boston. I'm there at the end of November. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, a, a fucking, a seven a day. Mm-hmm. Oh, comes up to him and aggressively wants to get laid by him. Who's our noisy neighbor? Oh, it's, uh, I was like, did you guys hear that? What is it? No, it was through the microphones. I heard it was like, it was like a noisy house party next door. I was like, trade 45. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Like, boom, boom, boom. I was like, stumping dog. Yeah. And we're just like the quiet neighbors. But could like, you imagine that? Like, we're over here watching elderly porn. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Can you please be quiet? We're watching old people fuck. <laughs> But he's such a novelty. Yeah, it's like a it's a famous thing where like girls are like you know really broken people are like, can I suck your dick? I don't really think he's still getting laid like that anymore. I think he's think? more just like there's a person you bring around and he's just like, hey, look, it's Roger. But I don't think they're really gonna fuck him. I mean, unless they're getting paid for it. You, you know, think it's I, don't, pay- I, don't, I don't think there's any girl. Dude, he's disgusting. And I, Christine, the I world doesn't know. That, but the world doesn't know. But you're just curious to see what the hullabaloo is all about. Do you throw it down, Ron Jeremy? 
and just tell your friends. <laughs> no. Ron Jeremy. Nothing, nothing, what about, what about, mid, what about that Ron Jeremy? What about mid nineties Ron Jeremy? Yes, that's the more like, that's the one most people have to deal with. <laughs> yeah, with. that was, that was that's the height the, of his fame. Yeah, where he was still like gitchy, but then he was also still killing it in the porn industry. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? No? No, it's so, my interaction with Ron Jeremy is like him in a tell sitting talking like two old Jewish men. He's so not sexual. Yeah, not sexual. <laughs> that's the thing. Like, he, he's like it's an old just, grandpa. Yeah, his dick is it's, enormous. It's all dick, yeah, it's though. Dick. It's like everything else is disgusting. Like, every yeah. other crevice in that human being is just... I hate saying that about a person, but he just... His dick is perfect. Yeah. It's, it's just... Do you think he made a deal you know, with if the you devil? shave his back, what you find? More back hair. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep going, keep going, and then you realize you've gone through him. Drunk Christine? Uh, yes. Was that drunk Christine? Drunk You're like, Christine. Let me see that piece. Drunk Christine will fuck anybody. He's like, let me see that Jesus. piece. Right. <laughs> anybody. Anybody. The, the door <laughs> is terrifying. open. If the booze goes in, the door's out. Uh, yeah, that's a weird thing where he's like, the devil was like, I'll give you the perfect penis, and the rest of you will rot like fruit. <laughs> and he's like, sign me up. <laughs> sure, of course what? I'll sign that. What? Are you kidding me? A perfect oh, packer. A nice <laughs> schwanz until I die. I'd sell my soul for a piece of pussy. And then he says, oh, really? What if I told you you would have all the pussy in the world? And you would look like you make a wonderful pizza. Rabbi, <laughs> we can help you out on this situation. Was he a rabbi? No, I'm just oh. But he was probably, before he signed that, he was like, he was oh, like you, know, you can go into the way of the rabbinical studies. Or I could make you an offer to fuck every girl you've ever wanted. He went, well, I get to awkwardly do it in a hotel room with a black woman in 2018? <laughs> yeah. Do I have to have a crusty, a crusty bandito mustard doing it? <laughs> it's because really... I'd like to grow on the dough something wacky. <laughs> uh, let's take our last break here. Oh, Christine, are you going to say something? Now, you're, now say, you're back to fucking him sober? No, it's just a draining thought that I could fuck somebody like that and like he's judging my body. Yeah. Like I'm one of the like, least perfect chicks he's ever fucked like that that's, that's definitely did. Christine a little did. twilight Christine, zone you just said you'll fuck anybody when you're drunk so just I don't drink that, anymore just sitting there for the commercial break <laughs> Christine did have sex with Ron Jeremy and it led to a new family a family made it started a super Armenian. race of the hairiest Jew Armenians that have ever lived <laughs> with <laughs> arm dicks <laughs> skeleton soldiers Josh Adam Myers hanging out all day on the bond for all day yeah like 40 more minutes. I'm an idiot. Not even, buddy. I hate myself. His new podcast, The 500 with Josh Adam Myers, out now and available on all platforms, going through the 500 greatest albums of all time on Hi. Rolling Stone. Uh, Rolling Stone's 500 greatest albums. Yeah, man. I'll amend that. And <clears throat> Quemini's out. Uh, we already did a Quemini. Coming up next, we have uh, number 499, which is BB King live at Cook County Jail. We've got Burr coming up, Segura, Jim Jeffries, Wanda Sykes. There's a whole bunch of people. That's Big L- J. Big J. And you. Eventually, I got yeah. 500 episodes to fill, so. Oh, I'll judge our friendship with what episode I get in. Crash Test up, Dummies is not on you know. If I show away. up at like 121, I'll be hurt. That's, be hurt. that's well, you're, you're probably going to do multiples. Yeah. To, be, to do 121. I want to be in the first 100, and I'm saying it right now. Done. Thank you. You're Jay, welcome. Jay wants to do the best of yes. Hell yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Take the break. We're rolling. You can't fucking time stuff like that out. It's the bonfire. <sighs> and now, back to the bonfire with Big Jay Okerson and Dan Soder. Uh, I got a new one to um, a, a nice lie to tell strangers. I can tell them that my dad did the riff in Seals and Crawl. Ooh, that's Summer a Breeze. good one. Oh, my dad was a studio musician and worked with uh, maybe Seals and Crofts. Seals and Crofts, Summer Breeze. Summer Breeze, this is like a quick lick. Because that used to be Jerry Rafferty, Baker Street. I go, ah, did my dad play to this guy, Jerry Rafferty? He was just, I don't know, put sax. But that's too heavy. That is, that's, you're yeah. laying a lot on them. That's like playing, saying, my, oh, my dad used to play drums in Van Halen. Like, oh, you mean your dad's fucking the other Alex Van Halen? <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I forgot he was famous, too. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, you could get away with this that. This is very obscure. Like, if I don't you, think... If you told a 25-year-old girl that your dad played sax with Jerry Rafferty, she wouldn't know you what would the fuck have, you're talking about. You would have enough time. Like, I think there were, there's not... Like, it's not a quick look up on Google. Yeah. So that's something you'd really have to dig through Wikipedia pages to find out who did the guitar solo on the Seals and Crofts song. Not only... Not yeah. only is what Josh saying wrong, I'm telling you, if you Google... Jerry Rafferty in two seconds, which Josh himself proved to me this weekend, you're going to get the video for Baker Street. The best video of all time. Featured more than anybody, 
the saxophone player. Right. So you're saying you the said he was that guy. No. But you're saying Seals and Croft is an easier one to do. That's what I'm saying. Yes. I'm saying yeah. that's Seals what I'm saying. Jeff, Jer- Jerry Rafferty, I wouldn't put up. That's you have to throw that out. That's out. a huge hail Seals, mary. Seals and Croft. <laughs> Seals and Croft. Yeah, Sax. Phone bill. By the way, if you said he played, uh, what did you call it the other day, Christy? Auxiliary percussion <laughs> in <laughs> band nerd. If you played auxiliary, per- I knew that term. That though she was, she was that was a good one to pull out though. Auxiliary percussion yeah. in Jerry Rafferty. That's a good lie. That's a real good lie. Nah, I've oh, he didn't do that TV show with them. But if you say he played sax, it's too, it's too featured. It's featured too well, heavy. Well, that's why I've changed it now to guitar and Seals and Croft. That's yeah, but I think Seals and Croft may have played guitar. God, he's so nerdy. Is there a? Per- I mean, ah, well, watch till he's nailed. Dan, by the song. way, I-, I feel like you go home, put this video on, and talk to the sax player like it's your dad. I go, I go, dad. <laughs> I go. Did my set went well at the cellar? Stop <laughs> swinging your hips. I miss you, Papa. <laughs> I go. And the 49ers quarterback did well. New. Oh, there he is, dude. Jerry Raffi looks like somebody put Steve Perry in a microwave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy pedophile face. <laughs> oh God. Hey, little like, boy. Do you want to help me find a lost cat? Ah, oh, there he is, Gary Soder. <laughs> <laughs> Get there. Oh. Rip it down! By the way, Dan, I'm telling you, looking at him, we could dress you up to be that guy for Halloween. Go back. Yeah, dude. Go back. It's right there. No, go. I'll be him, too. Go back to the... Dude, what, yeah, look. Why, why does... Samurai painting? Why does the sax player... Pause like, it. Why does the sax player look like ravishing Rick Rude? Yeah, yeah he really does. <laughs> Shut off the music. All right, you sweat hogs. <laughs> Just, Dan, tell me that we couldn't make you up to... That could be you in with stuff on. Done. I'll do it. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah. Saxophone Danny Sodes. Saxophone Sodes? Saxophone Sodes. Love him. Jerry Rafferty? He knows what? it. He knows that he's this song. Oh, he's look like, at fucking like, science teacher. Me. Look at the he's, science teacher. He's got him. that big dick swag. Like, he does not care, dude. Oh, this particular video I've watched dozens and, <laughs> and dozens of times. The rest of, of the times. band looks like the guys that actually use the promo code from stamps.com. Yeah, they go, I'm going to save some money on some stay You said the rest of them are all... Oh, no, I, said, I like when the old guys have to go pick up their kids from soccer after this. Dude, this looks like a, st- it just, a stone dad group. Like a bunch of stone dads. And I'm worried with Seals and Croft that they themselves are the well, guitar let's, players. let's actually, can we see the difference and see actually if that's true or not? Because if not, you. then we can, Seals, we can solidify this lie right here. Oh, we lock it up. Yeah, go to Seals and Croft, Summer Breeze, Live, Ooh. man. Tell me, there's a studio musician out there being my dad. Come on, dad. Come on, fake dad. And he goes, "Oh, it is. It's a young Jimmy Ray Vaughn." Oh my, that'd be even the midnight. Bert Sugarman's the midnight special. Uh, buddy, you're out. God damn, you're out. He rocks and rolls. Broke hill. Wait, who's the guy in the back? Who's the guy in the back? That's the bass player. God damn it. <laughs> I, knew, I had a real feeling Seals and Croft themselves would be the guys playing. Hold on. Hold on. It's not called Seals Chicken and Croft and Friends. I like chewing tobacco better than I like mosquitoes. <laughs> that guy definitely, his hat smells like pipe tobacco. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's up, Teen Wolf? Holy <laughs> shit. Hey, Fu Manchu mustache. He looks like Ravishing. Rick Rude if he melted, to be yeah. honest. Why does, uh, Hold on. Seals or Croft's beard looks like it's head hair. Wait, the, the lick's not in there. Well, one is pulling it off on a loot, Dan. Hold on. Here it is. Damn it. Uh, uh, he was getting in on the loot. He oh, you were going to tell him that your dad just wasn't for this performance. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, wow, I believe you were hanging on. It was so hard. I was, dude. Great. I was white knuckle on it. What's the guy? Oh, Dobie yeah. Gray? Is that the guy who's uh, Give me the beat boy, Free My Soul. Uh, <laughs> Dobie yeah, Gray, right? Or, uh, no idea. Yeah. Damn, I, I only know the Uncle Drift Cracker away, right? Drift away. Yeah. Dobie Gray. You could say your dad was like the bass player for Dobie Gray. I wanted my dad no to be checking. in Seals and Croft. I wanted my dad to be in Dobie more. Yeah, the, the, the guitar solo is far more, like, historic. Yeah, it's just... You could say your dad played horn in Chicago. Yes. Yes. Closer. Because then when they, looked that, when they looked that up, dude, everybody will... Any girl will look and be like, well, it's got to be one of these 16 guys. Everyone played horn was the joke there, everyone. You're, you're a horn. <laughs> I'm glad you guys all jumped aboard on my Chicago joke. <laughs> I was coming hot on a Chicago joke. I'm going to skip the middleman and just say my dad was Dobie Gray. That'd be great. 
And he goes, oh, I, I'm sorry, I don't see color. <laughs> That's impossible. He's your dad. He goes, oh, I'm sorry, I don't see color. Actually, if you really want to take this to the mat, he adopted me. So thanks. I would, no, I just like I was like committing to being his birth son. Yeah. Really? Does that so that matters to you? Color now? Cool. Okay. It's oh, blowing okay. me away. This is a black guy singing this song. You didn't know this? I had no idea. You thought Uncle Cracker wrote it? You dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just Cracker's sounds like such like Uncle Cracker put pen music. to paper. <laughs> First, follow me. Now this. I what? mean, it's such gonna... a hit factory. <laughs> on a streak. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, basically, Christine, Ron, Jeremy, or Doby Gray, right now. Doby uh, Gray. Dobie. Wow, I'm not even a fucking. It's just because he's black. It has nothing to do with how attractive she is now. <laughs> um, he's starting to sweat though. He's well, starting look, to dude, sweat. You, you can, can say your dad it. plays anything in Doby Gray. Oh, dude, but yeah. Look at my dad could be the guitarist in Doby Gray. Absolutely. Yeah, my dad played in Doby Gray. My dad played for Doby Gray. I go with I go with one of the <laughs> organ players. Yeah, they're hidden. They're in the background. Your dad won any shine. He just wanted yeah. to play his music. That's a musician. Yeah, I'd, I'd, say, I'd say my dad was in the uh, one of the Oak Ridge. Oh, that's good. That's good. Why not? <laughs> Man, fake dad jobs are hard to come by. They, they really are. Fake musician dad jobs. Seals and Croft, I really thought we landed. I had a feeling that was a two-man show. Man, right? Yeah, man. Fuck, I feel real disappointed in myself. He blew it for your Your lies. Yeah, for my table of lies. <laughs> Gotta get it right. I like pulling them out now, though, too. It's just so funny. This age, the plot lies like that. Where's your dad? He goes, he's not around. He's on tour. He's on tour with the Oak Ridge Boys. Who's he on tour? He goes, the Oak Ridge Boys. Somebody, uh, somebody, somebody did a, uh, on Twitter, put my face on this picture, I believe, of everybody. Uh -huh. I'm everyone's. Is this scary? Oh man, so I, I wish it was. That's fun, Gary. Let me tell you what kind of Gary. Could you there imagine are. if your dad? That's good to. That's good to all the way from Fringe. the left, left to right. These are the different kind of Garys. They are left that's to right. Good, that's good to his wife, Gary, all the way to the left. Okay, that is a uh, middle uh, second from the left. Move over one. That guy is not going to be there. But when he is, he's he loves you a lot. Third Gary, wild time Gary. That's real. You can drink a beer on my lap. Don't tell your mom. Why don't you drive the truck? My lap. You know what I mean? While he's driving. Yeah, no. And that's Paul Mercurio. That's Paul Mercurio <laughs> from The Daily Show. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Paul Mercurio. Get that. They just look like four different Uber drivers. Yeah. Um. Excuse me for Dan. <laughs> is this for Dan? Just, but do they still? Got it. Oh, man. One of them's <laughs> biting Rick Rubin style hard. No, it's not Rick. That's wild, man. He never changed. You're wild, man. Rick Rubin changed. You changed. Rick Rubin looked like MCA from the Beastie Boys and then became... So wild, man. Oh, he has been doing it. Yeah, Wild Man's been Wild Man since day one. Dog. I just want to apologize to Wild Man and all of the Oak Ridge Boys. What's the Oak Ridge Boys hit? Anybody? Black Lou? I'm, this is the first time I've ever heard of this yeah, band. They redid Seven Army Nation. You want to hear that? Seven Nation Army? Yeah. Yeah. There was a storm coming. It's good to be here at a whites only concert. All right, everybody. Whoa. Oh, fuck. Don't worry. I'm going to fight them all. A seven nation army couldn't hold me back. Oh, this is definitely your I'm dad's band. Oh, yeah, yeah, I am doing this. Oh, damn, that's Dude. some modern music done in the right style. I'm going to say my dad was in the Oak Ridge Boys, and I'm going to say, because any girl's going to go, who's the Oak Ridge Boys? I go, they do a cover of Seven uh, Nation Army. Sick. I go, you should hear it. <laughs> Gary's back to being the sax player with fucking Jerry Rafferty. I don't give a fuck. Just ride right it out. out. I wouldn't do it. You're setting yourself up. Wait, how do you know the Oak Ridge Boys? Well, what huh? do you, what you don't know heard a single them. song. Because I know, I know a lot of bands I don't know a single song from, like, names of bands. Cinderella. The Oak Ridge Boys? I know a lot of Cinderella songs. I don't know the, the name. The Turtles. I'm telling you, I don't know the name. I don't know the name of any song by the band Wasp. Me neither. The Hollies. Let's live in it together. I know songs by the Hollies for sure. The Beatles. <laughs> you just start doing dumb shit. The Michael Rolling Stones. Jackson. I don't know the guy's work, Joan, from being famous. No, I know the Turtles are so happy together, I think. Uh -huh. I'm uh, talking about, no, but what's the, uh, you said the Hollies. What's the Hollies song? I know it. Damn I, it I know it. Do you? Yeah. The one that I know is The Air That I Breathe. It's like a blatant creep ripoff. 
Well, no, Creep's a blatant the, uh, the air that I breathe rip off. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Sometimes all I need it is the air. Oh, that yeah, I just breathe. one look. And a, 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 a. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Tell me this isn't a blatant rip off of Creep. Wow. Did Creep, I mean, Radiohead got called out on this, right? Yeah. It did. Did, did they have to pet? It actually turned out, but I've seen a bunch of articles about it, and I think they've. Might have been sued. I mean, this sounds... Possibly. Oh, it's fine, because Tom York was just telling people all over town that his dad was in the Hollies. <laughs> what are you going to call him, eh? They got liar? Lessons. I tried to do an eye liar thing. It didn't work. The chord progression of melody and creep versus similar to that of the air I breathe, the 1972 song recorded by the Hollies. Songwriters Albert Hammond and Mike Hazelwood <laughs> sued and received co-writing credits and a percentage of the song's royalties. Suck on that, Radiohead. Yeah, wonky-eyed Brit. Let's celebrate. Kick him when he's down. Oh, I really like this song too. Oh, man. You, you know this? Do you know this one now? No, I know Creep. Oh, I you like get to the so chorus. Beautiful. You get to the chorus. Yeah, this makes me want to put on Creep. <coughs> yeah, this is really. Uh, I mean, it's like the same tune. Christine's mind's blown. She's had dreams. <laughs> she wanted to see where here it is. Wait, here it is. Sometimes. All I need is the air that I breathe and wow. to love you. To good to At that moment, Dan yeah. did think that they were stealing the song. <laughs> and, and that set, set up a chain of events that led to him. Fist Go fighting home. Tom York at a TCBY. <laughs> <in Liverpool. laughs> Dan would become the stepfather. Do you know I found out very recently TCBY is not uh, this can't be yogurt. It's the country's best yogurt. Did you really think mm -hmm. that it was not people? I thought it was taking care of business yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I want to wear. I would wear shirts if that's what it was called. Taking I'd be, care of business oh, in a yogurt. <laughs> taking care of business yogurt. I would fucking. Do we have to see a tattoo with the flash? Should be TCB and just a yogurt, a yo play in the middle. <laughs> Dude, I love I'll it. Because I'll be taking care of business. Yogurt. <laughs> taking care of business. Yogurt. <laughs> Dude, I want to... We've already got the marketing scheme. Yeah. Sharks. <laughs> Sharks. Uh, we have to get out of here. I know. we got to run this some bitch up. Josh Adam Meyer's new podcast, The 500, out now. Go listen to episode 500, 499, coming soon. Goddamn Comedy Jam, tomorrow night at the Warsaw in Brooklyn. Go. A very special guest. Big Jay's going to be doing a song. I'm going to be hanging out, shaking hands, kissing babies. It's going to be nope. fucking awesome. BigJComedy.com. Go watch his special as part of the Degenerates on Netflix, streaming right fucking now. I love you, Josh. Thanks I love you, too, show. buddy. Thanks for having right me, guys. Now. DanSoder.com. Mm. For all of his dates, it's going to be at Rumors, Winnipeg, Canada, the 15th and the 17th. Laugh Boston, the 29th through December 1st. Get tickets for Dan, all Dan's shows at DanSoder.com. Watch our videos. Download the podcast. And uh, Bill Burr's F is for Family coming out November 30th. Good job. One more plug. You're a real pro. I got it in, kid. We love you guys. We will catch you tomorrow live on the bonfire.